This morning, starting Thursday, the annual 2024 NMU Jazz Festival kicks off. High schoolers and middle schoolers from across the Upper Peninsula will be taking part in clinics, performances, and jam sessions, sessions throughout the festival. So joining me this morning is Dr. Mark Flaherty with the Music Department. Now, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing well. Thanks for having me here. Dan. Absolutely. So kicking things off. This week is the start. When is the first day of Jazz Fest? Um, well, it's Thursday, Friday this year. Okay. So it's uh, April 4th and 5th. And um, yeah, actually the guest artist comes in on Wednesday, but that's more for rehearsals and whatnot. But, oh. um, but yeah, we've got full days planned. We've got basically uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Thursday. We'll have bands playing. Um, and 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Friday, um, the middle school and high school groups. And then, of course, concerts both those nights. And new this year, actually, um, those concerts, the Thursday and Friday concert, will actually be a repeat. Uh, since okay. we're doing this in the recital hall, we wanted to make sure there would be enough capacity so that everybody who wanted to come would, would be able to do so with all the kids there as well. So Absolutely. Now, I was actually at last year's Jazz Fest. I actually helped with the production. So the big question I think a lot of people are going to have is who is the special guest? Because last year it was Dean Sorensen. So who is it this year? Sure. Well, we've got Ellen Rowe, um, who is a, a tremendous piano player and uh, composer and arranger. Um, and she teaches down at the University of Michigan. Um, so she's very, very respected um, in, in that program and, and throughout the jazz world. Um, so and, and wonderful educator. We're really looking forward to working with her. The big band, of course, will be uh, playing a lot of her music on the okay. program. And um, actually, a couple of the other groups too. The NMU Jazz Combo will be playing a ballad that she wrote recently and um, we'll have a faculty student group too that's going to play with her um, and we're playing a sort of a cute little blues tune she wrote about a Ooh. she said an embarrassing bike accident so it's called the clipped in blues so Ooh, blues are always any, fun any of you who are bikers out there can probably appreciate <laughs> uh, ha having done that maybe at some point yeah, yeah. maybe a little relatable <laughs> now my next question I have for you because I know a lot of there are a lot of jazz fans uh, what is I guess a big highlight compared to last year to this year that people can expect. Wow, you know, this year, um, you know, I'm always tweaking little things with it. You know, again, I, I think um, this year, I, I think that probably the, for most people who've come to the Jazz Festival before, I mean, the highlights really are, are probably always the, the concerts. And so that's not really so much different from last year. I mean, different artists and, and whatnot. Um, I think there are probably a lot of the changes for this year would be smaller things that maybe I'd be aware of or maybe hopefully the, the schools would be aware of just in terms of trying to space out the schedule in mm -hmm. such a way to make it that much more beneficial for the students who are coming and um, yeah, just make it a, a better overall educational experience for everybody Absol involved. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, now I noticed looking at the schedule there's uh, clinics and jam sessions, what, what happens during those? Because those are something I actually haven't been to before. Sure. Well, um, and I'm, I want to say, too, that the public's um, welcome to come to any of the events for the Jazz Festival. And, you know, the way it works is typically, you know, a band will be playing at some point during the day. So let's say 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning. They typically would play, and most bands come and play two or three tunes of some sort. And then we have um, clinicians, in this case, um, mostly enemy faculty members, so either myself or um, Dave Zigner, of course, who's okay. a wonderful local <laughs> guitar and bass player. Um, Patrick Booth, who's an adjunct instructor for us, and oh, yeah. I'm also a tremendous saxophone player. And um, so we'll get up then and usually work with the bands and try to give them some suggestions and um, spend, you know, 20, 30 minutes mm -hmm. working with the band. So, so there's that. And then we do this year kind of um, coinciding with sort of dinner time right before the concerts. We're doing a big jam session in the uh, Hedgecock Atrium upstairs there. So and that's just an opportunity for all these high school and middle school kids and the college kids to sort of mingle a bit and um, do some play and really very much in the spirit of you know jam sessions in in jazz and jam it's sessions one of those places are where always fun yeah, where yeah. you develop those skills absolutely <laughs> well coming up in our next segment we're actually going to highlight some of those a couple instruments you might find in jazz band and do and maybe maybe you'll even play a little bit for us we'll, we'll, we'll find <laughs> out <laughs> but all this information will come up on our website for those who are interested uh, to check things out and definitely swing on by so coming up after the break is weather with Jennifer